Hey y'all, it's Tuesday the 12th, I believe. So this is my second day of working this week. And starting yesterday, I noticed there was a smell in my office and I couldn't figure out what it was. I just knew it was just like a slightly offensive odor. <laughs> like, what is this, this scent? And then today I finally figured it out. It's this bag, likely the garlic. I love garlic, but I would never use it as like an air freshener scent. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and plant these, even though I thought it was too late to plant these. I was planning to save them until the fall. But I'm going to go ahead and just open and see what's in here and pl likely plant these. All right, so let's see the back. What it says. I want them people who don't read instructions. But let me try to read some of this. Plant in the spring after the danger of frost. Really, I thought we were supposed to plant garlic before the frost. Okay, I'm so confused. I thought it needed to be, have some chill hours to germinate. And it says garlic can be kept for 36 months if properly dried and stored. So I'm not sure if it would have lasted into the fall. Onions can be kept well into the winter months if properly dried and stored. I think this is about the harvest, not these buds that I'm about to put in some soil. Anyway, let's see what's in here. Oh, okay, is that it? Nope, nope. I thought I was going to see some green on this, based on the smell. Let's see. One more thing in here, I think. Oh, two more. Uh, this is what has the scent. All right, so this is apparently the time to grow these. I don't have my supplemental. Oh, I still have that in my greenhouse outside. But anyway, so I got garlic cloves, four of them, and then you break it up and plant. The shallots. Let's see, what do I have? It is 60 red onions, 60 yellow onions. This is 60? Oh, wait, maybe these are the shallots. Which one of these are? Oh, these are the onions? They look kind of tiny. But it says red onion, so. These are the onions, and are they labeled? No. I don't know what's what. <laughs> okay, they are labeled. So these are shallots. Red shallots. Oh, and then red onions. And then yellow onions. And the white onions. And then the last bag is just the garlic. It is dark outside now. But I wanted to put some... I thought I was going to have to do chill hours. So maybe this is just going to be an unboxing. If I can... Um, just direct sow these outdoors instead of putting them in the fridge like I thought I was gonna have to do or maybe I'll put some in the fridge and then direct sow the rest yeah I'll try that and I, I really thought it was just the garlic that you had to do like that 
All right, so this is basically an unboxing of the, since I'm gonna go ahead and direct sew, since it said I can do that after the risk of frost has passed. That was part of the instructions, I think. Where did I see that? Oh, planting and care. Plant in the spring after the danger of frost has passed. Okay, that's all I do. So I'm going to have to prepare a bed tomorrow for these. I may put some in the fridge, but for now, I'm just going to, the plan is just to go ahead and direct so all of these into my beds tomorrow when it's light because it's dark right now. All right, y'all. Thanks for watching. Or maybe I can open so y'all can see. Buy my scissors. All right, so cut off. The top so you can see. And each one, those are the red shallot, then these are the red onions, yellow onions, and white onions. And last of all is the garlic, which is, says regular garlic. And that's the garlic. All right, y'all. I'll be planting these, direct sewing these tomorrow. A few of them I will separate to put in the fridge for a day or two to see if that changes anything. So this is turning into like a garden vlog with a bunch of random things since my onion garlic shallot bulb video turned into like an unboxing, which I thought I was going to do some, I am going to still do some of them I'll put in the fridge for a few days, but I'm, I'm primarily going to direct sew those and most likely tomorrow. That's the plan. But it was a little, it was a little bit of a slower day today for work. So I did it. I was able to do a few more things. I was recording some things. And so I'll just include all of it. So this is something I also noticed that had sprouted the seedling. Now this hydroponic system I set up maybe two years ago and I put something in there. I'm not sure what, but then it was unplugged for all of this time until about Maybe two weeks ago, I turned it back on because I had planned to go ahead and start using it since I'm using the cracky hydroponics method in my living room. So this is, has aeration since it plugs in. So I want to try to use that as well. So anything, anyway, I never got around to putting anything new in here, but the old stuff sprouted. I'm just not sure what this is based on that leaf and you may have noticed a gnat i don't know if it, you could see it in the video this is dusty anyway i'll dust this off later <laughs> but anyway there was just a gnat over here and that's why i've been moving my seedlings out because my pepper and tomato seedlings i was watering them from the top <laughs> and that finally what brought in the gnats i think because I have gnats now. But anyway, this is in my office. And I just want some greenery in my office. So I'm going to figure out what this is soon enough. And since nothing has come up... All right, I accidentally turned it off. Since nothing has come up from this one, I'm going to go ahead and drop some kind of seed in there. Um, but yeah, so that's... One... 
little segment of this blog. All right, so I still have my herbs in these containers. Oh, well, also I want to share for the garlic, shallot, and onions. I do have them in this container that I use for my salads to contain the scent while they're sitting in here on my dining room table because that scent is going through the whole house. I don't like that smell. Anyway, so for these, I dropped one of these. It was the one for the dandelions. Fortunately, it didn't spill out. Well, not all of it. Some of it did, but not the seedling. The one seedling I have in that container. The dandelion is the last one to sprout on the 11th day and it's a weed. Like how it was so hard to germinate. But anyway, this is the purple basil and linea and I'm going to move these into the like similar containers that I have for the other ones. Use my box cutter to make a little slit in the front for the label. Oops. I also use the box cutter to make holes in the bottom or I use my soldering iron. I prefer to use the soldering iron. So what I'm going to do is just cut off the lid. So these are single use. So I like these for my seeds. I don't like that they're single use. I like the size. I like that they had the lid so it was like a humidifying dome built in. I don't like it being single use. So anyway, I'll put the labels in the little slits. I got these little baskets from Walmart and I think they're like two for less than a dollar fifty. And they fit perfectly in here. And when I put holes in the bottom, I'll go ahead and try the box cutter. No, uh, well, I'm not going to be able to show y'all because I'm not going to have to do it from the bottom. All right, I'm going to use the soldering iron later <laughs> instead. It's easier to poke holes without disturbing the soil like the soil been disturbed over here. Anyway, so I'll show you all where I have the rest of them. All right, so I put them all in these baskets. So they're all exactly the same. And I have them on these baskets to have them closer to the, the light when the light is on. It's after 9 p.m. now, so the light is off. It used to be around 8 p.m. when the light would go off, but that was before the time change. So now it's 9 p.m. So that's all 10 of my herbs from the first herb growing challenge. These are my herbs from the second one. These seeds were dropped yesterday. I think today's 11th. Or is today 12th? Today's the 12th. <laughs> all right, so these were dropped on Sunday and I don't think I have any germination yet so I'm just using these lids even though they're not anyway I'm not going to disturb that but I don't have any germination yet on this second set of herbs and I took these out of the fridge today this is the lavender and echinacea I had it in there for two for 48 hours about and here are my cucumbers and eggplants that I dropped the other day and all of the cucumbers, I only put one seed for each. So all the cucumbers have sprouted and are a good size. So they sprouted days ago and two of the eggplants have sprouted. So just waiting on this one. All right, y'all. That's just a quick update on what's going on indoors. I'll insert some stuff that I did outdoors, mainly moving the peppers and the tomatoes outside 
and also some of those herbs that I planted, I think, on the 1st of January. No, the 1st of February. Anyway, I had to keep better track of these dates when I'm dropping things. But anyway, I'm, I decided to leave that stuff out there because it's going to be warm over these next few days. So hopefully those things fare okay. They're all in the greenhouse. So here is my greenhouse. I'm like, where'd this light come from? It's from the phone. Anyway, so I have the peppers down there on the ground in that plastic container with a netting kind of protecting it to keep the bugs out. And no protection for the tomatoes. I did have to use these bamboo stakes to kind of support all the tomatoes. One was doing way worse. It was drooped over almost completely. It was out here. Then I took it back inside because it was drooping. So it, did, it started drooping out here. I wasn't sure if it was too much sun for it or what. Also have these things that should have been then put outside. And they're going to have to go into some new containers and then I can start cleaning. I need to go ahead and clean up these leaves on this one. This was in the back so it wasn't as obvious how bad this was looking. Get off these bat leaves because they're just wasting energy. All right, so yeah, it's looking kind of naked, even that one. Yeah. All right, took all of those. That one's doing much better. Anyways. And then down here with the peppers. So all of my seedlings survived so far. Just really putting them to the test, putting them out here in the sun. It's cloudy though these next few days. And the nights won't get below 60. Alright y'all. Oh, one last thing. Alright, now I did peek over here. Ooh, I don't like being over here. <laughs> Anyway, I don't like being over here at night. Too many, yeah, I need too many places for things to hide. But anyway, lemon tree is not looking good. I don't see any green on this anymore. And that one has even more yellow. I still have green, so I'm gonna have to cut that one down again. I meant to do that today, but I didn't get around to doing it. But anyway, so that's planning to trim this one up this week blueberries are looking great back there so anyway i'm gonna go ahead and get back in the house this is dark creepy a little creepy out here i need to fix my lights uh, i need to get more lights out here more solo lights because it's much darker out here the light is on on this phone that's why it's so bright anyway and last but not least i almost forgot i wanted to drop these moringa seeds now, i was thinking it was too late to do this but homestead heart just well, she didn't just drop hers, but she just posted a video about her moringa, and I'm only a few days behind her, so <laughs> I'm going to soak mine, like she said you should, for uh, 48 hours at least. So I have some distilled water. That's way... <laughs> All right, so, all right, I'm just gonna put like, I don't have very many, so I'm going to put four of them. So just to make sure I hopefully get at least one of them germinating. All right, I have four of them. I'm just gonna put them in there. Um, hmm, they're floating, but I guess they'll sink eventually. Well, this puts them right at the, yeah, I filled it up. They're, they're submerged. <laughs> so anyway, so I'm going to put this on my plant shelf with my other ceilings and let this sit for 48 hours. So it's Tuesday night, so maybe I'll put them in some soil on Friday. 
All right, y'all. <laughs> All right, y'all, for real this time. Thanks for watching.